Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial for the Play Framework 2.0. Today I wanted to talk a little bit, only a little bit, about actions and controllers and routes. Um, I do not want to make my videos too long, so um, I will press everything together and it's pre-written code, we will still go over it, but I do not want to write everything again. Um, what I want to show, give you is like a little overview and actions what is an action in play yeah um the tutorial also defined it um it, on the original website it's as you can see an action is basically a java method that processes the request parameter and produces a result to be sent to the client in other words like getting what you put into your browser in the address line what's coming out next um, an action looks basically like this. You can see um, it gives back a static result, so every every action is static in play, um, and it returns an re a result object. Another big thing is you can actually directly invoke which um, which page to render. And give and also give parameters to the page. Um, you can see here um, in the second line there is um, the index render. This means this is the index side of our view. And we will go over this later with a few examples, but it's just a little bit about that. Um, index represents the view to render. This is the index HTML side, and the object um, is a parameter given to the view. A controller. A controller is simply the class that holds all the actions. That's it. Um, usually, it's one to n actions in it. Um, it should extend the controller class. It's an I think play dot mvc dot um, controller or something. So um, now we're going to the examples. Um, I prepared a few examples for us. Um, this is, um, we start with that. Usually when you start your play application or create a new play application, this is what you can see in the beginning. This is like this method here. Um, returns okay means just that it's okay. It's like the right state for the HTML side. And the more interesting thing comes after, it says to the index side, render me here, your new application is ready. Yeah, this is like this, the, the usual example. You can also see it in like um, here. So we are index render here. Um, that it is given um, a string message. And basically this is a preformed uh, method from play. So maybe I'll do, a, I thought I'd do a few other examples to, that you can get it easier. So we return to our application Java. And we can see here, this is the method I prepared. Um, there's no parameter given in this example. And what I'm doing is actually um, giving, creating a string with hello Mr. View and give it back to a HTML site named fun. Don't get irritated by the by the little symbol here on the side. This is just because I didn't install um, the Scala plugin into Eclipse. So you will always get this annoying thing if you're too lazy to install it like me. <laughs> so okay. So we look have a look at the fun scala. Yeah, so what basically this website does, this is absolutely the minimum. I want to talk maybe later about views, but uh, I thought this is too much this time, so I just did it simple. Um, so what we have is here, um, this is like our magical add sign. This signs also Scala expressions in HTML. So what you see is here, we have a message from type string and the message gets outputted here. So what our application does is basically giving this S back to my view. 
so we can we can look at it on the roots file this could also be interesting <laughs> mm, look what they okay it's, the method is called examples so example so what it is, it is a get message. You can also use post and other different forms, but we also only do this with gets this time to keep it simple. Um, what it does is when actually, when my browser goes to that direction here, it will execute this controller here. This controller is in controller application example. So this is my controller thing, application, sample example and here we go and this is what the use the browser does i can give you the example hello mr view so what i did was just gave it to the view maybe edit that this is kind of annoying that it's like wrong expression at the end so hello mr view Seem to work actually. Um, so the next step, what we are doing, I thought about. Let's start with the roots file. Um, the another example we have is also get method. It's called example two, um, and it goes. This is the difference in this example. It goes to another controller. So not like in all the um, examples on the Play Framework 2 website, where they all go to the to the application controller, I can remember. I don't know yet. Maybe some did. I don't know. But not in a simple example on the website. So we can use also another controller. And this is the another controller I had. And you can see on the roots file that this executes the method another example. Another example. So it does pretty much the same as the, as the method before, but it is um, hidden in another controller. So we do that um, by just writing in here example two, and the result is the same. Yeah. So the third example I prepared was, um, okay, giving a parameter over to the to that class. So we take a look at the application. Uh, sorry, we are in the uh, another controller. Um, I call it another example two. And what's basically is in there is like there's a string given and the root looks like this. So another method, this is the parameter and you have to define the parameter and the type in Scala style. So the name and then the type, like also in the views. Um, so we look at that. Example number three, for example. And now I can just write in a string and this will be given to the view. Um, the last example I prepared is a little bit different. It also uses the another controller, but this time it's another type, and it's actually like a little procedure behind it. So we can look at it. Um, there is an integer a and integer b given, and this is just a simple addition here, and the result will be displayed on the screen. So we have a look. This time I use another template. It's called additions, addition scala.html. And what it does, it's just uh, an integer and gives out the result. So we look at that one. Um, so here we go. What was the name again on for that example? I think I called it four. Yeah, and also these are given. These are my two parameters. So I, I separate them with the slashes. Doesn't really make sense, but I just do it. So here we go. So five, for example, plus 100 and whatever gives us that. So you can do like pretty much everything with it. With it, um, just if just to define the root the root file. 
what is your what is actually your your browser, the controller name, and the controller method. And if you need parameters, just give over some parameters. Um, this is like only a basic example for doing root files because it's like a more complex um, thing. I think we should um, talk another time, maybe when we go into maybe database objects another time again. So this, uh, this would actually make sense. But for the first thing, it's just to the basics to know that you can actually define your own controllers there, yeah, like as much as you want, and also um, define your own views. This is like basically what every application needs at the beginning. So thank you for watching. If you have anything, any questions or something, just let me know. Bye-bye. See you next time.